see the irony of that name at all, but okay, thank you for pronouncing it right. No problem. I got you, buddy. I got you. I made some tea. I'm good for it. Hello. Oh shit! What the fuck? You all right? I ain't really sure exactly where that sound came from, but I don't like it. Uh, oh my. Uh, you all right over there, Chief? I don't think he know we record. Take a good look. Oh, shit. Oh, I know. Take a good look. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my face. <laughs> What's good? Yeah. Little face. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey! You laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? It was friends. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Love you. Miss Merry you. Christmas. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Oh, man. Y'all say love you. Say she love you, too. Uh, do y'all realize that, that that's uh, that was on camera? Yep. Oh, Show baby this. face. <laughs> yeah, that was dope. That was a really dope moment, man. That made me that made my spirit feel feel good. That was dope. <laughs> that was dope as fuck. I, the, I the figured first, it would. The first <laughs> of the next generation that, to be featured on the podcast. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. She with you the whole holiday? <laughs> Let's go back to. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's fucking fire! You got all the babies together. Look at you. Don't know what the <laughs> fuck to do with yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A good father and whatnot. Right. Role model and whatnot. You hey, know, well, you know all of the statistics and data actually say that right. black fathers are the best fathers. Look at that. <clears throat> Won't you do it? Yes, he will. Every single Won't time. Won't you do it? Every single time. All right. Hey, hey. Okay. So, all right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, all right. First of all, that was just really dope. Uh, Podcast listeners, uh, if y'all get to, if y'all actually be paying attention to the intro and and don't be just skipping forward to whenever I say "What's up, guy," um, y'all just got a chance to, <laughs> to, to 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 meet the 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 first offspring of the of the uh, the podcast, the uh, the queen of the baby posters, because she's the oldest. Uh, that's baby face. Yeah, baby face in the place. Oh yeah. Ahead of oh, the race. Yeah. So if you see face just randomly <laughs> grinning for no damn reason, or you just hear him over there just grinning for no damn reason, that's why he got all the babies together. <laughs> so he over there feeling his oh, yeah. best daddy self today. So uh oh yeah. He he done got his own Christmas wish. You know it Christmas. Well shit, I can see how face doing. How y'all be how y'all do this week, man? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Uh, just trying to get the everything yeah, ready for this, like this drive. And that is a hell of a drive, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow. That when you hit the road. Hour. Well, um, some probably sometime in the morning. <clears throat> probably. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the so the, no. Your oh, so the day down, after tomorrow. <laughs> huh? Who? Everybody coming down to your job, bro. Who? I said all your people's coming down there. Mom. No, no, she uh going. You know oh, okay. her and Aunt Charlie, her uh auntie uh they doing their thing. Oh okay. Yeah, they got uh 
unk coming up from uh Florida and shit. So like, you know, they got that little thing going. But and I I used to go home for that. Like I used to go to that for Christmas, and then we go to Rhode Island for uh Thanksgiving. But true this year, the work schedule uh kind of prevented that. So uh yeah, so we gonna be here. So we uh cooking a feast with the boy. Like us three, we done planned all the feast and we gonna cook it. And then we got a uh, poop got one cousin that lived down here, so we gonna uh, invite her over. You know what I mean? Do a little small, little something, but uh, you know. Weirdly enough, outside of like the little festivities, the thing I'm most excited about is being able to sleep in. Oh, uh, true. That's Hell about yeah. to be fucking lovely. You understand me? Shit. And speaking of in. Watch how slick this is. Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. So with three friends separated by distance, connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. And as always, I'm one third of the partners. Your boy T is. And I'm along with the other third of the partners, the Padawan here, um, trying to make tea and not make a mess at the same I don't time. Tea. I don't want no tea, baby. Got to clear the throat and whatnot. And you know how I be coughing. Y'all know how I be coughing throughout this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm along with Paul. That's number one. <laughs> you 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 clear that throat but right on out that. there, Pat. He's along with the one and only, the one and only daddy face tonight, because I got all my chilling with me. I am not calling this nigga daddy face all night, but uh yeah. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, this thing. <clears throat> It is a joyous occasion, though, because you do got there you all the go. That's really true. dope. That shit is fine. That shit is fine. So how y'all been oh, this week, man? man how y'all been? Daddy face, but y'all call him a daddy Yankee, daddy Yankee, though. I don't call him, I don't call him nothing. <laughs> I don't listen to him or call him. I don't have nothing to do with him. You call that nigga daddy Yankee. I don't that nigga. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Oh, All right. I'm, okay, so this is one of the weeks where Tiz is not prepared for anything. Like I don't got no topic. I don't I ain't read the docket. I don't have nothing. I am here. It's like, Christmas, man. Flying by the seat of my pants. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, I'm I'm here just you know figuring it out. Pop it up. Pop I it wanted up. to say winging it, but I ain't really sure how that. Co- I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's Everything. like some somewhere else. <laughs> the whole English uh, language is derogatory. Yeah, it is kind of nasty. <laughs> <laughs> we all kind of dance as a people. <laughs> this is a whole damn folk. Fucking Americans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's just Americans. I think it's just the world now. I think everybody just kind of danced. You said nasty? Yeah. Y'all yeah. ever seen them Japanese? They got some tentacle porn and shit. Mm-hmm. So, I, mean, I haven't seen it. Just, I think everybody danced. But I know Pat probably hey. has. Yeah, I have. I ain't gonna lie. I'm hentai. Yep. Yep. That's what they call oh, it. Oh, he know the name for it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I yeah. thought it was just tentacles. I heard Is that about too? it on crack. Is that I didn't too? Know it was... That's the Japanese name for it. Nigga, nasty. Pat, you used to have the world's biggest collection. Not the world's biggest collection biggest of what? Collection. Twin had the world's <laughs> biggest tentacles? collection. Tentacles? <laughs> <laughs> he was out here. He was out here chopping octopus. Everybody has the, the and right now because everybody has the internet, so everybody has the, the biggest collection right now. Collection of oh. what? What are y'all talking about? He's Tentacles? talking about porn. 
Oh, I was like, how the fuck this nigga had all them tentacles? This nigga killing squid. You getting black market prices on, on, on fucking undersea creatures? Release the Kraken. You got a couple jellyfish on layaway? Nah, man, them bitches sting. Nigga got, nigga got, <laughs> <laughs> nigga got three three stacks of calamari on Afterpay. Andre, <laughs> you said on Afterpay. Mm-hmm. You know all that calamari, that shit gonna call. Nah, you fool, expensive. Nah, I don't, no, me, no, nah, I got to like, I don't like calamari like that. Don't me. even tell it. It's all yours. You said what? Dope dealing permits. Four, <laughs> with four even payments, it could all be yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said dope dealing. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I have nothing with dope dealing either. Hence why I was so confused. Oh, so, man. Tis the damn season. To be jolly. Cheers to get damn season. So, let's start it off, man. Okay, this is the holiday season. What's your... What's your let, let's talk about Christmas memories, man. What's your best and worst Christmas memory? Hmm. Now, I thought about this. The best is kind of... I got like a couple. The worst... I don't know that I've had a bad Christmas... In this Christmas, birthdays can have. I've had a couple of bad birthdays, but not a bad Christmas. I feel like Christmas is always, always come through in the clutch. Um, best Christmas though, I think, hmm, as for me personally, I would say probably the year. There was this one year that was this special Ninja Turtle. It wasn't actually the Ninja Turtle. It was like the little rabbit, the samurai rabbit. Yeah. Um, uh, he had a, uh, he had a cool Yuzimbo. ass name. Yeah. Now, a lot of people wanted that particular one. And a lot of people uh, in my just... area just wasn't getting it. Like it was, it was hard to find in the stores. People couldn't find it. And I thought I couldn't get it because when me and my mom had went to the store, it was sold out. So I was pretty sad. And I also had wanted, it was like this three-in-one place. That, it was like a official price thing, but it was like three-in-one. It was like a pool table, an air hockey thing. And I think it was like pinball. It was some, it was some other game, ping pong. So I wanted them two things really bad. And I didn't <clears throat> think I was going to get them. And then fucked around and Christmas came and I got them shit. And I literally played with both of those things for like years to come. Like that was probably my favorite action figure until I stopped playing with action figures. And that little uh that little pool table thing and all that, like I I literally played with that until I was like probably early, like probably first year in high school. Like mm. it was really it was really good as a little hobby in the room when you get bored. You just practice pool. So yeah, that was probably the best one for me. I don't have a worse one. Um, but you bet. All right, <clears throat> I would say my best memories are. I I do have a similar one like Tiz, because <clears throat> one year I woke up and I had everything on the list. Everything I don't know oh, what I did that year. I had everything. I could literally I literally turned my room into a city. Literally, <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had the freaking, I had all the Ninja Turtle shit. I had the blimp, the the party wagon, the sewer, the freaking pizza thrower tank. <clears throat> yeah, I had like all the Ninja Turtles. Then I had all the Batman shit. I had the plane, the 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 Batmobile. I end up getting the a Batmobile. I each got year. Batman like, toys. Was kind of fire when we was kids. Yo, they were like the next generation of G.I. Joe. Like he yeah, it was like I he had them all the G.I. Joe skills in suits, pretty much. 
they got uh but yeah i had the plane i had all that shit and then um i also remember just having like the whole family over and then we'll all play uno mm-hmm. or whatever and then be like freaking 15 10 people on the table just you know playing playing uno and i'm I don't know. I just like the fact that I could beat adults. <laughs> Uno. I got one. Or whatever. It wasn't. I got a worse one. I got two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut your wisdom. My bad. My bad, Pat. Oh, no, no. I'm going to say this and that's be it because this it was the No, you go ahead. Cause it, that was the year my, uh, my grandma on my mom's side passed. It was like right before Christmas. Or whatever, okay. and then we had the we had the funeral right after Christmas. Sorry and, to hear that. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was the worst. That was the worst. God bless. I don't think anything could beat that one, but I will say, as a Capricorn, <clears throat> birthday wise, we're always competing with Jesus. Oh, whatever. Because if um if you gone through the <laughs> birthday syndrome as a Capricorn like me. Who was born five days after Jesus? Tis was four. <clears throat> you know that set I gave you for Christmas? The shirt was your Christmas present. The pants was your birthday present. Oh no, I ain't have it like that. Uh, I doubled. I, had it at, I, I doubled up on their ass. After a while, mm-hmm. it was for me, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's probably because you I gonna, had a whole I'm city. Pack your <laughs> ass. I'm going to tax your ass. I need everything I ask Santa for, but then that birthday come around, we got a whole different list for that. Mm-hmm. Don't I don't know. think it would probably affect uh, That is two different days. It would affect me. You was, not as, you was not about to do me that. No. That is mm-hmm. two different days. Shit, fuck that. Them days can come, in a, can, come in, can come in two different weeks. Shit. Art mm-hmm. sex and 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 freaking socks and drawers used to be. You about to short me on my shit. I done waited all fucking year and already all my friends and shit is gone away with their families for Christmas vacation. So it ain't like True. I got a whole bunch of people that I can hang with for my birthday. I'd be damned if you're going to sit there and then on top of that you ain't about to give me some you, no, fuck that. I'm going to get them gifts. I'm going to get them up out you. Let me get them up out you. But yeah, um, I think my worst, now that I look back on it, it wasn't my worst at that time because I was a kid and I was a lot more uh, self-centered and didn't really care as much. Mm. But as an adult, I look back, I remember this one time. So I already had the little set that like they had the ping pong table thing, right? And I remember I had this long list. And most of the stuff on the list was like small stuff like G.I. Joe's and action figures and like a little shit like that, right? But the one big thing, it was this big three-in-one arcade set. It had like a pinball machine, a pop a shot, and I think it was ski ball? Something like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So I really wanted that. And I wanted all these other little things. And now, mind you, since I was born, when I look back at pictures, as far back as my own memory goes, I've always had like Huge Christmases as a kid, like where it would be like toys, 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 toys. But this Christmas, went up under the tree, woke up, got all excited, went running around the corner. And it was just that three in one arcade thing. (laughs) And I don't know why I was such a prick. Like I was such an asshole. And I was Mm -hmm. like, and I remember I started crying. And I didn't really say much, but I was just crying. And my mom asked me why I was crying. And I was like, because I only got one day. And I just remember looking, but like, I remember my mom never said nothing, but I I know it hurt her because I'm looking like, now that I look back on it, I'm thinking like, Mm-hmm. She done worked her ass off. And this damn little three in one arcade shit, that shit won't cheat. Those that shit used to be like hundreds of dollars for that shit, shit like that back then. Like, so like it was she was she was she was putting away some bread just for that by itself. So it won't like that one thing was little shit. Cheap. Yeah, yeah. but my little spoiled brat ass got the dirt for her. Goddamn. 
I only got one thing. Like, how dare I? Like, I was a fucking asshole. So I think that's that would be probably my worst Christmas now. Look back on it like that was fucked up that I did that. All that's right. I, so, I got, I got like two and two. I got bad Christmas as a kid, bad Christmas as a adult, good Christmas as a kid, good Christmas as a adult. So I'm going to just go opposite each. So first, I'm going to just go bad. Bad Christmas as a kid, the worst Christmas, like, probably ever. It was actually Christmas Day. My dad died four days before Christmas, 1991, December, th- December 21st. Thanks. So... Majority of most Christmases after that have always been tainted. But they ain't ever been as bad as that one. Now, best Christmas as a kid was Christmas Christmas 1988. That was the first Christmas me and my mother moved. We had just moved to Georgia, and that was the first Christmas just me and her. We had just moved from New York down there, and it was just us. And it was just special because it wasn't nobody else. It was just us. Whatever we had, it was just Going about the gifts, it was just me and my mama and our own. You feel me? Just our own house. We wanted an apartment in New York no more. We wanted to hustle and bustle. She had her own shop. She had her own um, beauty salon. And everything was just gravy. That was my best as a kid. Worse as an adult. I had lost my job seven days before Christmas. Sure, I was still getting paid right before Christmas. Because I put the time in and the work in for, for that check. But just the emotional status of trying to rebuild everything right then when it's supposed to be happening, you're trying to put everything together for the kids and the family. And knowing you got a family to provide for, but you just lost your main way of how to how to, how to provide. Now you got to try to pick up the pieces at this time. You feel me? Like, that was real fucked up. But the best Christmas I ever had as an adult it's the first Christmas when I had all of my kids together, all three of them with me and my wife in our home. I mean, nothing, nothing else mattered at that point. Whatever bad Christmas I had, whatever good Christmas I had, all of them faded away and no memory like really matter, really mattered or meant, meant anything other than that right then. Because you see all three of those smiling faces light up. If I mean, crusty, crusty eyes, stank breath, but still, just seeing all three of them faces light up just it meant something else to me. And the Christmases I can and I do share with all of them when I can get all of them down here. Like none of them, they all special, but nothing ever comes close to that very first one. You feel me? Like because they were all still small, and they all had that 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 you know that that true childhood innocence. You feel me? So. And all they want is the, the, the most basic of toys. They ain't looking for nothing too extravagant. They still play with the boxes. You know? So having all three of them, seeing, seeing my little man crawl on the ground, just getting into stuff where the girl try to help him out. Yeah, that, that's my best one. Care less about every toy. It's like paper. Ooh, this paper. It's mm-hmm. red. I like this. Mm-hmm. And he yes, literally sir. for like the whole Christmas morning. I just remember like being weak and just looking at what my wife told that like, we spent all this money. This the week of this just bought up some boxes with paper. He would have been happy. Mm-hmm. And to this day, <laughs> he's still pretty simple. Like he does. He never asked for a lot. Like he's very. Like, oh, I don't. Oh, the stuff he does ask for is like super cheap. Like, it's like, I don't know. He's just a really blessed kid. All right. You know, we're good. Thank you. No problem with that at all. <clears throat> Thank God for the ultimate kid. God, we're blessed, man. God, we're blessed. Pat, you're going to have you six or seven one day. Very good. Hell no. I don't know about no six or seven. <laughs> he I don't know if I'm built. Over there now. I don't know about no six seven. I don't know about that. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, I one, follow right back, one behind the other. The sex templates, I do think. Oh, shit. See, I, I've been actually scared because, uh, <laughs> you know, I have a younger brother and sister that are twins. Your family. Right. So that runs in the family, and the first time might be the first and second time. Yep. <laughs> if you get what I mean. And third. So that's why I've and been third. extra. Eh, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't seen no triplets. Three little packs. That... <clears throat> Man, don't wish that one. evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you wish <laughs> that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Come on now. Little sweet blonde head, blue eyed Jesus. Come on mm-hmm. now. I like my Jesus with a tuxedo shirt to say that I'm serious, but I can. <laughs> Oh, the ballad of Tiger Tiger Nights. That's a classic movie. Running away at no fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, God. Ricky, you're not on fire, man. Come on, oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Bait yeah. and bait. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Oh, are y'all going to watch the new Christmas story? No. With Raphael grown up? No. Oh, damn. Not a fan? No. I will not. I I qualify that as a reboot. Because it took too long to make a sequel, goddammit. God. That's in the reboot realm with me, and I don't fuck with reboots. I hate them, but I got to watch it now because I already watched the uh, Coming to America, too, so I feel like now I got to just go ahead and ride I have it. not watched that. My childhood. I have not watched Coming to America, too. If you don't look, if you don't look at it as a nothing, it's just like its own movie. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's all right. I have not. You just I can't. Look at I if you look at I'll it, I'll look at my way too. Who the my? Oh shit! Man, I ain't fucking with you. I'll look at that part too, because that would make sense why it takes too this long. Because they had to find mouth ass. <laughs> Yep. Oh, they didn't make it. They need to. No, no, no. For the Facebook club. Yeah, the Quinn won't bite it. You're not about to keep pushing that shit every year, damn it. This is a new year we're going into. You're not about to take that shit into 2023. You are not about to. You lead that shit right here. We have it's several Facebook clubs about the Mighty Quinn bringing it back, damn it, and getting to part two. Facebook. Don't know about it. Hey, look. Several. Follow us on Several. Facebook. You still on Facebook, but don't nobody be on Facebook. Several I clubs on there. Yeah, but no on yeah, it's a movement, man. It's a movement. Some niggas are sixty years old in their club. They should. They should. Old niggas. Old Rest- niggas no good. Yeah, they see it. Sharing recipes and hobby schedules. They is not in there uh, talking about no mighty equipment. From Pinterest links. They shit on there, but old folk and people selling shit. That's all face and, and Russians. A nigga trying to get that mighty Quinn going, man. Talk no. about Pinterest? No. He's an old bitch. You end up in that's your jam? What, Pinterest? Yeah, that's your shit. Nah, I just heard about it. It just like looked like another Reddit, <laughs> Etsy, and all that other shit. It's literally, oh, literally a personal bulletin board. Yeah, that's a good. Idea. I mean, the people. <clears throat> if I'm like looking for, look at the shit that I like, y'all. To draw, you know, like it's just something like. Like artwork or drawing stuff like that, that shit's good for that. But as far as other than that, it looked like it's like an online scrapbook. 
Or if you're a cosmetologist going over there and getting ideas for hair designs. Yeah, good for skill sharing. Like if you were in a trade or something, or something yeah. that got skill to it. But yeah. Or average if you have no imagination and you're just trying to copy it somebody else's style. And then in which case you need to get a light. You need to go look up a therapy down Pinterest. You need to be using the internet for some other things. Better help. Speaking of uh, speaking of apps and internet, uh, fucking stealing stuff, pretty much. Um, y'all know that uh, y'all might not be familiar with it, but it's this app. It's like this AI art app called Linza, and mm-hmm. I've, I've seen a lot of people use it or whatever. And basically, mm-hmm. Linza, yeah, like. It take it'll take your picture and then it'll make your picture look like basically AI art, kind of like what I did, like my um, like my avatar right now that I'm speaking through right now. It'll do that for you. You don't really have to do or m- do anything for that or whatever, and it'll make you look like like a professional. Like I've seen motherfuckers they change themselves look like some type of royal princess or some shit like that or. Like shit like that, but there's a stipulation in the uh, terms and agreements and and whatnot, in which if you put anything up there, you they basically got the right to use that to whatever the fuck they wanted to use. So the, like they could basically take out of you. Yeah, they basically just taking your shit and making money yeah. off of it. Bitch, give me your face. Give me your face. Give me your face. Lenza. That's a, that, you know that that's a new that's gonna be somebody new bar. But the, but the ramifications of this like this is this goes further than that because like think about how many things they can slip into anybody's user agreement. Mm-hmm. Like how many people really read every user agreement to everything that they do? No, well, usually if they do use it, um, if they do actually read it, it's like aftermath. Yeah, whatever. App. They get the app and then they they look at the terms of agreement. Well, they just told you no, we don't have to do that. Look at your user agreement. Oh, and and usually, no. usually the way they um, promote apps, they promote apps like you can go ahead and get it right now, real quick or whatever. So you're already in the mindset of just going ahead and get the stuff done or whatnot. So you're clicking the buttons and getting it out the way or, or whatever. So. You're gonna naturally do that anyway. It's a whole set. It's all all a psychological thing to it, man. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff just trying to keep you stuck and sitting still. It's a whole lot of fuck shit. Whole lot of fuck shit. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, um, I got a couple of uh, things for the fuckery since he brought up fuck. He said the word, you know, fuck shit and made a hot uh, fucking hit song out of it. What a fucker! Oh, wait. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I guess. Yeah, so I guess the, the lens of thing was the first fuckery. Pretty much. Um, then this this next fuckery is uh, this is funny because I went to go pick somebody up from the airport or whatever, and I was I was walking in the airport. I saw this dude that looked like Orlando Brown, like he looked exactly like Orlando Brown, and then he was like, he had his face covered and he had that. That Orlando Brown. Yeah, the, that's so Raven Orlando Brown. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's Atlanta. I would expect it to, to be that way. But when I actually look like on Instagram, you know, your phones be listening to you and everything. I found out that wasn't Orlando Brown in the worst way pro- possible. Because it, it turns out that Orlando Brown today was arrested for a domestic violence issue in Ohio. Man. Oh, he's the one in Atlanta. Somebody got to get yeah. him. He's been on well, actually, they said it was on Thursday. Uh, uh, actually, they just reported it today. 
um, 10.30, like 10.29 in the morning Thursday. The man needs to. He, yeah, he do. Orlando need a he needs something, man, because he just be saying the most outlandish shit from time to time. That, I mean, even if it's true, it's like, why? Like, why did you even? Something, there's something wrong with this boy. Why he ain't a boy? <laughs> there's something wrong. Man, with that. <laughs> he, he's thirty-five, man, but it, it's something up, man. It's something up with like. Child stars when they hit the older adult years or oh, whatever. Absolutely, they go crazy. It's crazy, and it's even it's anyway. It's even it's even worse because we got social media. So like, they'll gripe on social media about stuff that they should say in private because, in our eye, in the common man's eyes, you griping about that looks petty, like. Sir, we you had a good life, dog. We had a good life, yo. Little Romeo, you had a good life. You're not even Rome, little Romeo no more. You're Romeo Miller. You had a house. You had your own house in the back of somebody else's house, which was your father. But is there you even- said to that though? Like I, I I feel you, right? Romeo had he was rich. Mm-hmm. Financially well taken care of. But we know how we talk about like Nick Cannon having all them kids and him not having the time no to give to him, which can sometimes be more vital to their like development. Mm-hmm. Romeo, I don't think was talking about as a kid. It sounds like he was talking about like as an adult, he was going mm-hmm. through suicidal tendencies or thoughts or mm-hmm. ideations or something, and Master P wasn't there. That's different. There's no excuse for something like that. Like if you if your yeah, that's true. call you up. I don't care how rich you are, or whatever. Like, hey, dad, I'm thinking about killing myself. Well, well, let me get your ass some help. Let's let me come to your side. Let's make sure you good. With where, where are you now, right now? Like, you feel me? Like, what? That's not that. A- not. I ain't talking about it on that side. I'm just talking about it on the whole financial. I was supposed to be allotted this much and this much, and I'm living off check to check stuff or whatever. But I definitely. As far as the depression, there's no excuse for that. I'm never going to say that's the excuse for that. You know what I'm saying at all? Just off of the um, the the stuff that he was saying about his financials and things like that. That's how I would say it would come off to like the common man in general, if that's if it was just that or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I had about that. Um, and, oh. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Did you see what Akon mm-hmm. said about um what about Nick Cannon's situation? No. It was like um it was this video, I forget uh uh somebody was interviewing him and whatnot, and he basically said, I agree. I I, I think I'm all for it. I'm all for him having 12 kids. And mind you, Akon has nine. Hey man, you got them and they all live with you and you taking care of all of them cool. But that one here, one there, one everywhere, like I don't see it. The way a- Akon sees it, he's right. like Well look, Akon is weird. Right? Yeah. Let's just get the fuck that let's just get that out the way. The nigga has a painted fucking head of hair. We're not even about to play these games. Niggas are fucking weirdo, so we're gonna keep it moving. He's rich. Wait, his head his head is painted? You ain't never seen that nigga hairline. That shit is beige. I was, I was looking at it like I was like I just thought he was rich and he just had the perfect fucking barber or some shit. That shit is painted. It's painted. Been painted since then. <laughs> it's painted since then and painted. Oh, oh. oh now I'm gonna be looking at him all weird now. Pause. I've been looking at a weird. Uh, then again, yeah, he do be saying some weird or outlandish shit or yeah. whatever. But didn't that nigga hump like a kid on the stage? I didn't those. see that shit. I don't. I didn't see that shit. I remember. If that's the case, then yeah. I'll just move on. I'm not even going. Hopping <laughs> a little kid on the stage. Same way. 
feel like Drake did some wild shit with a kid on stage one time. Yeah, like they were like extra, extra young. Let's just call it what it is. A lot of these niggas was not cool, and now they famous. That's all that happened. They just got famous, but they still was weird. Fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, most celebrities are weird. And I'm a weirdo. But a good weirdo. Like, do some good with my shit. Them niggas weirdos, like, they do weird, predatory, freaky, crazy shit. Yeah. The people that is inappropriate. Yeah. I think, but I think most celebrities are weird anyway, in general. I think most of them become celebrities so they can relish in their witness as much as they can positive, possible, and whether it's like positive weird or negative weird, pretty much. There could be something to that. Yeah. Um, next on the list, y'all remember um, the Bling Bishop? Uh, Freaking Bishop Lamar Whitehead, they got robbed on like, was it Facebook Live or something on social media? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he is arrested on fraud charges. Oh, surprise! Who saw that coming? I know y'all did. (laughs) Think I saw that coming with them big ass juicy J glasses. (laughs) He be wearing. Bishop Don Juan want to be ass out of here. Like we knew this was coming. We knew it won't yeah. the world. That little ass church was making all that money for him in New York City. Like we got to think about that. Like in New York City, you was paying rent on that place with that small ass congregation, but you was making that kind of money to be able to. Hey, you don't get the fuck out of here. Suck my dick. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he he has some of them. Um, how you say? I'm I'm extra. I'm sorry. That was the bit much. That was unnecessary. He he has some of uh, them Omar uh, donators. That's what he got. You know, matter of fact, he probably got the the donators that Omar wants, but not. So oh, Omar snitched on him. So he, got he was hating on his donators. He got the what? He got the Umar. He got the donators that Umar wants. <laughs> he got the Umar. See what we got? He got the what? No, I don't. no, because I feel like I'm getting jokes. <laughs> why? Why? That you know that was last number ten, I think. I think that was last number 10. <laughs> his last number 10. Them donators, man. Oh, we all know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he uh, got slammed with the federal charges. Face all right? Uh, I don't know. Face might have cried. Nigga, silent. Yeah, that nigga, all right. You okay? <laughs> Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh yeah, no. I had to do some shit. Why is my Siri talking to me? Shut up! No, <laughs> no, don't you dare! That shit. Huh? <laughs> she need to turn herself off. Is what needs to happen. Motherfucker. See, I'm gonna fight Siri. See, because. There's no reason for that thing to be that stupid. If you're going to give me a damn AI, at least let it be intuitive and responsive to what I'm asking for. Yes, Siri be popping up even when I don't even be asking for stuff. Yeah, like I don't want nothing from you, lady. Leave me alone, white woman. <laughs> What's the damn business? That's why I make her Because she's fucking retarded. Also, oh, like being uh, feeling strong over a white woman, like they did over all. Oh. That's right. Okay. Okay. I'd be like, "What's my name, sir?" She'd be like, "Master." But 
you allow me to call you King Joe. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. it, I think it's a way that you can do that. Like you can you can make Siri call you whatever you want him whatever she wants you want her to call him. I said you. I just got to figure out. I think somebody said that they actually got her to do something like that for real. Yeah. It works. It makes it you feel yeah. Hey, you do realize yeah. it's real, right? So he actually got her. To, oh, no. Nah. Yeah. Nigga, what? What the fuck is y'all talking about? Y'all lost me. What happened? I missed. No, it. you 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 already got Siri <laughs> to do that. For yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, there oh, you go. <laughs> I the joke though. Still, I, I still don't. I thought, I thought you said you go to get Siri to do oh, that. Oh, I didn't. Man. I didn't think that you were um that you already got Siri to do that. Yeah, You're probably the one that told me. Okay, never mind. You already know. Never mind. <laughs> I might have <laughs> you talking about. You yeah, you probably were yeah. Nigga, it could have been one of those situations. Yeah. No. I had an old nigga moment. Yeah, that's all it was. I had an old nigga moment. Oh, hey, man. Don't you start that bullshit. We don't start acting old till face start acting old. Give him a second. Let him hit. Let him hit. <laughs> we got to catch him on one of his days. Uh, and then we can like said, give him a second. Just give him a second. No, we not. Be the same numerical age. No, 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 no. <laughs> I the motherfucking 39 in one day. Your black ass would be 39 in 11 months, dude. But guess what, guys? It's Capricorn season. Yeah! <laughs> Capricorn season. We go head but everybody, motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Head 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 head. Yeah. Man, to, to tell you the truth, I really don't got nothing else on uh, on the fuckery, but you talk Tory. I was Tory about to I know yeah. you ain't need an elephant. Tory getting hit with those three charges, man. But yo, that 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 case, man, is so touchy. Bodies, I don't bodies, even want to. I don't even want to fuck with it, yo, because it's like it's just certain things just is not un, not answered. I what? didn't need a trial or like see a lot of the evidence and stuff presented, so I'm really lost as to like I don't know if I should feel like he got. A fair trial. Like, I don't know. So I feel like maybe they must have found enough evidence to find his ass guilty then, I guess. What, what was the verdict? Because I refuse to keep up with oh, shit. So what was the verdict? You, you know. he, got, he got hit with all three charges. Yeah, he was guilty. So, but matter of fact, let me look up those charges because the charges were like, they was, the way they were worded, technically, it doesn't seem like he got shot. He, he got hit with shooting <laughs> Meg. Right. He got hit with like, uh, basically, what is it? Uh, carrying, loading, uh, unregistered firearm. Um, wasn't it an illegal offload or something like what he had? Uh, yeah, uh, illegal discharge, yeah, that and illegal handling or something like that, or whatever. But they were all like technical charges, they don't necessarily convict him of. Shooting Meg more Meg like being responsible he, for the gun being fired. Yeah, yeah. It's just him being responsible for having the gun around. And then I see certain things where they say there wasn't any DNA proof of his hand on the gun and I everything. You said what now? I think that girl shot him. 
I the, think so too. She got all the motive to do it. I'm not saying that she did, but I believe that she did allegedly. Like I, in, in my gut says that's where it goes. Very well, be very wrong. I feel like I feel like they're not saying all the. There's some truth that's missing. You're not right. gonna say that they're you're lying. True. I'm gonna say somebody is not right. saying the truth all the way. Listen, you riding around partying with your best friend and the dude that you was fucking, who's now fucking your best friend. After she's fucked your friends, after she's fucked your dudes before, and you telling me that that like that's a lot of damn motive. That's and a not lot. Not only that, she had I a think- lot more motive to shoot her than fucking Tory Lanez over some goddamn because you said my you know my song my singing career ain't that good. Like who don't give a fuck what you say? Yeah, I think it did. Also, I think she actually fucked <laughs> with the um one of the execs at. Meg's previous um, label, pretty much that she was having issues with. So that's that's another thing, and she got a freaking diss track towards Meg. They played a diss track she at court. That's hey, word for word verbatim. So I'm like, yo, this is oh, this is just the country. I don't know how. To... I just hope I, I hope Meg is okay. Uh, now that this is finally That's over, because I know she's. I'll say this, man. I I I I'm tired. I hope this is the last trial or a situation where we gotta. Instead of just saying, well, who we believe based off of the evidence and the details that we've been presented, there got to be a, well, we didn't believe the woman or oh, oh, the man. This was everybody rallied. Like, man, it ain't, to me, it ain't had shit to do with the man or the woman or none of that. It was just like, oh, I don't really know because the evidence ain't got a sketch, but it seemed like somebody shot him. Once the, yeah. doctor, the doctor said, yeah. bullet mm-hmm. fragment. All right, well, somebody shot him. I don't know who shot him. Because shot herself, the driver, I don't give a damn who shot her, but somebody shot her. So let's find out who shot her at that point. Uh, designer no. can't well, shoot nobody. Damn, nobody. It was just that's what the evidence said. What you say, Faith? Bunch of dumb shit. Bunch of young dumb shit. Say, was them idiots playing with the gun and it fell and shot her in the foot? That seemed like what it, it was because. They were at Kylie Jenner's party. They were very drunk. I know somebody said dance, but dance. Mm-hmm. But my that's th- what they say, and then one person said they didn't say that. The only person that has a history of like having reason to dislike Meg all of a sudden enough to do anything like that would be the best friend. Like every like the, the driver don't give a damn, the bodyguard don't care. Torres, he was fucking them. So like mm-hmm. To be mad and not, like I don't see it unless something was about that and they weren't arguing about no music or something, it was about some type of relationship shit. Then maybe. Mm-hmm. But to me, like you in a win-win situation, you know, fuck the best friend, you got her and y'all together now or whatever. So, like, why are you tripping? But the best friend tripping out of and, and and got tired of being there with them all night, watching them all lovey dovey and kissing and hugging and shit. And then you got to ride home with these motherfuckers. She done snap. Mm. Sounds yeah. like a good normal scenario to me. And you get to wrestling with the, you read yeah, the wrestling, yeah. and then you shoot. And then you accidentally, like, you get to wrestling over the gun. The Thor trying to stop you from shooting, and then that shit go off. It, but. Meg running and then that shit hit her in the feet and then because of everybody outside you know you got to stop it. So, I don't know, man. I'm just making that shit. It feel if it, it feels right. She did it. All that. All that. All that. All that. You said you don't know about no dog shit. Oh. Oh, the whole shit stupid as fuck to me. It is a bit though. 
over there dumb as fuck. It's been prolonged and everybody talking about it and it's all in the news. But what? Motherfucker, think of being shot in the foot every goddamn day around the world. Ain't nobody talking about them motherfuckers. Who shot what my pinky foot? toe? <laughs> Devil is part of the mystery recipe. Shit, that's the next goddamn week. Shit. Fuck you, quit. Shit. Shots you in the foot. I don't take nothing away from your pain. I got all the empathy in the world, but I can be sympathetic. Dude, it's been dragged on, and people trying to make news, but it ain't fucking news. It's just a bunch of fuckery. But everybody involved in it got some bullshit going on with them. Should have kept that shit behind closed door. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't believe black women. I believe black women who telling the truth. I say that. I don't believe nobody. I believe people who are telling the truth. They got some some type of some support. But you ain't about to just tell me anything. So uh, I really didn't believe neither one of them. I believe it's I way more story than anybody that said, and ain't nobody trying to come clean. And I don't like it. I want to know because now y'all got me nosy because y'all done talked me to death about this bullshit for the past whatever. So now, shit, I need more information. I need some unsealed documents. I need the discovery. I need to know everything. I need I need an investigation without feelings. I need feelings. To- so deep in my feelings. I, I I need people to get out of their feelings about this and just let's look at the evidence and the facts and get this shit out the way. Then yeah. nobody will feel like nobody's being protected or whatever. <clears throat> what not. Let me be honest with y'all people. Look at to me in my face right here. No one's protected. Not a one. There's not one time in history in this American uh, society have we ever been protected? Period. At all. I don't know where this this come from. Now, when we were more banded together, as far as like in the civil rights stuff before all that, um, Planned Parenthood, feminism, and all that other stuff coming along, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely, because we had no choice. It was either us or them. That's pretty much how it's always been. But even still, unless you have a certain amount of money, you're not protected. Period. Unless you're in a certain tax bracket, you're not protected. None of us. It's not safe out here. Tax itself. And then if you, then, like in this situation, if your tax bracket is not enough to battle the tax bracket of the people that you're going against, mm-hmm. you know, it's one thing to go against one person, but when you have a whole corporation behind it, yeah, it gets kind of hard. Pause. It gets, it's, it gets, it gets kind of difficult. Whatever. So, uh, I don't know, man. I, I I really be I really will be glad when this this cancel culture soft shit is done because it's getting kind of old, man. It's getting kind of old, and it seems like he's wasting time more than actually getting shit done now. I'm just tired of being held accountable for shit that I don't honestly think about. Like I ain't about to keep being labeled nothing. I don't want nobody to be labeled nothing because yeah. I'm tired of being. Yeah. And shit that, and it ain't even shit that I'm thinking about like and this and that and this and that. Why? Because I just don't agree. Are you gonna kiss my ass? I ain't about to be late. Look, well, I'm ashamed. Am able, 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 whatever. Put all them suffix, suffixes on the back of my shit because I'm all of them. It, it's ableist, I, a shamer, uh, all of that. Because I mean, I'm gonna just talk. God damn it. I am man. Hear me roar. Roar. These uh, people. Out of good shit, man. I you know what? Matter of fact, I hate 
Yeah. Being yeah. accountable for shit that I didn't even do. Should have believed her at first because she was flip flopping stories. The shit didn't make sense until the doctor actually said, "Yeah, she's been shot." That was the only time anybody should have believed anything fully because that was the only like thing that was concluded with science. That was like you could back that up. Got it. But the rest of that shit, like that shit, foggy as fuck on wall side. And being that it's foggy, that's why it should just stay their damn business. Until we actually got the actual, like, until like the the actual sentence was already went through and everything, and we got all the evidence to prove that it was the case or whatever, even though they said they're actually going to try to appeal it. On what that, um, no one this shit even came out or whatever because I was saying sometimes the court of, of social opinion mm-hmm. kind of sways the court, and if a whole bunch, if a group of people don't have nothing, that don't know nothing about the situation for real, they just reading stuff from other people that weren't there at the time, they, they're just reporting on it, has some type of say into, you know, how a court case is going, that, that can get kind of dangerous real quick. Shit's gonna start looking like the Hunger Games. Yeah. All right, Kat. That's the only saying. Thing from the Hunger Game. I'm not really sure exactly who that is. You know, you know what? I got I got the whole um Hunger Games collection off a deal or something. It was like five dollars, something like, like that, or book? whatever. The whole nah, all the movies to it or whatever. Because I only seen like the second movie. I never seen like the first one or whatever. But when you know, after a while, I, I don't know, it probably took me like a month to actually watch all of them. Right. Pretty much, but but yeah, that's an actual that's a pretty good um series of movies or whatever. Yeah. I can't call it a trilogy because it's like four of them, I think. Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't yeah. even four of them. Too. Yep. Oh. Well, man. Uh, Merry Christmas, man. This the last Man. one. The next one. Uh, yeah, be birthday, round birthday time or after birthday. So, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Are you ready to yeah. turn 39, bro? Do you feel older? I always end up feeling the age that I'm about to turn into like a month before I actually turn the age. Ah, so you are yeah i have not i am not ready not i i know i ain't ready for the one after it definitely not ready for that one i feel like i'm about to fall off a cliff with this one like i feel like this one about to be the one with my body just said all right i don't give a fuck no more fuck it i I quit Mm. i'm about this shit fuck this shit i'm out like yeah i feel like this thing I will say I do have a lot of promise for the next year coming up, pretty much. With the things that I see in motion and everything, right. or whatever, uh, I just I'm just kind of ready for the year to end so we can get this shit going. I am too, man. I, I definitely uh, trying to wait to after the holidays to meet with y'all, but we definitely got to meet so we can start like mapping out year three and all that shit. Etc. 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 Et 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 Don't let it get it too far ahead of you. Shout out to Vodafly. Yeah, man. Uh, I think that's a good place to leave it. Uh, mm-hmm. Honest. This has been a wild week for me. I have been so like my week has been as follow I work Monday. Now you know I work, wake up in the morning at two. So I might go to work by four thirty. Get off at two. Be with sometimes most of the time three and then be with by the time I actually get to my crib it's like both of them and then hang out with the family 
do something for this and then go to bed, right? And do it all over again. So did that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It was supposed to be off Thursday, but my dumb ass picked up a shift. So I went in 115 to 515. Hey, Capricorn shit. 115 to 515 in the morning because they were paying an extra five dollars an hour. And then went right back to work Friday or today and then got to work tomorrow. And then I'm all Christmas to the day after. But yeah. So my brain is like fried. True. Fried, yeah. died, and low died. Yo, I had to work the club last night, so I ain't really get in till late. So yeah, I had to spend the rest of the day trying to work. Right. <laughs> Hmm. You said what? Why I got beat? Why? Why did I hit? Why did I get? Because you had to work the club. Make oh, shut up! Don't let it make you. Shut the fuck up! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't no way. No, no way. way. My mind know. was thinking in that direction at all. Like that, babe. I'm telling you, my brain is my brain is random, bro. Like the connections <laughs> that it will make is not. Is ping 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 right now? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, guys, that was our episode. Because if we, we keep going, what a wait! Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Uh, that's the name of the episode. Merry Christmas, well, bleep bleep bleep. Uh, love y'all. Peace out. Samuel Jackson voice. Yeah. If you want to send us money for Christmas, dollar sign partner tis one dollar sign partner tis one. Or go to buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners. You can donate there for a little as a dollar. Uh, yeah, man. Or you can uh, go to rtrayclothing.com and buy merch and buy cool AC83 gear and partner stuff like hoodies and hats and shoes for my. And then uh, that. And they talk to us. And if so, how would they go about doing that? By going to any one of your social medias, may it be at Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and putting it at sign T-H-E-P-O-D-N-A-S. That's at sign T-H-E-P-O-D-N-A-S. And on Facebook, where Tiz Face Pat are the partners. Yeah, bitch. We everywhere. And uh, as always, I've been one third of the partners of Boy Tiz, and I've been along with. The other third of the partners, Padawan here. And uh, we've been along with Face, who's being a father right now. I'm not yeah. saying daddy. <laughs> father MC Face. But uh, he's uh, over there with all of his children having a wonderful Christmas. So uh, we trying to let him uh, rock out. So we will salute and sign off on his behalf. He was Face. He was ahead of the race. And he's very happy and smiling probably right now. So, yeah. Love y'all motherfuckers, man. And, uh... Merry Christmas, motherfuckers! Peace, bitches! Where the rest of my Christmas trees? I need to light this bitch up right now. Look at my Christmas trees.